You never turn away, you never leave my side And every time I call your name out just to find That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart You are more than able To lead me through the dark Your love is never failing I will trust you with my heart Trust you with my heart There are days when I feel I need a friend And then I hear your voice reminding me again That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what Facing, I will trust you with my heart You are more than able to lead me through the dark Your love is never failing, I will trust you with my heart Oh, I will trust you with my heart No matter what may come, no matter what I go through, God, you are Never gonna fail me, I will trust you with my heart no matter what may come, no matter what I go through, God, you are Never gonna fail me, I will trust you with my heart You are always faithful, you love me from the start No matter what I'm facing, I will trust you with my heart You are more than able to lead me through the dark Your love is never failing, I will trust you with my heart you with my heart hey good morning boys and girls welcome to another exciting week of children's church i'm so excited to be here with you all it's minister nikki once again with you guys and this month we are talking about uh we are talking about the rules to life and i'm excited this week we're talking about one of my very favorite games in the whole wide world it's called monopoly the so-and-so uh group they're gonna talk about it and talk about how it's a rule to life that uh to give it away, to give it away. Our story for today is from Luke chapter 12, verses 16 through 21. And you know what? The bottom line is you share what you have. All right. And our memory verse, I hope you remember it from last week, but our memory verse is suppose you can be trusted with something very little. Then you can also be trusted with something very large. That is Luke chapter 16, verse 10a. All right. And so this week we're all, we're talking about responsibility, showing you can be a tr trusted with what is expected of you. All right. So we should treat others the way we want to be treated. Our story time is coming. Pay attention, guys. I'm going to share some amazing truths with you. Also want to share that tomorrow is Martin Luther King's day. Um, it's a day where we observe Martin Luther King's uh, birthday. And I want to share with you all that uh, one of the gifts that we have as Americans and those of us is the act of service and the fight for justice. And we should share that with the world, that we should be justice seekers. So on tomorrow, uh, though it's a day off, it's also a day on, a day to uh, remain hopeful, a day to look for ways to share the justice that we know, um, and to do uh, what, like, Christ would have us, like Jesus would have us to do, and that is to be kind, that is to share what we have, um, and to do some acts of service. Socially distance, of course, okay, and safe, uh, even though it's still a pandemic, so we still want to be safe. And a great way to be safe, a great way of uh, active service is to wear your mask, right? This protects others, and uh, so that's a great way to be safe and to do service on uh, MLK Day. All right, I'll see you guys after the sermon. Talk to you later. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for another round of Life Size Hungry Hungry Hippos? Let's bring out our players! Yeah! Woo! 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Players, take your positions. I'm ready. You ready, chicken? All right. Here we go, panda. Show them what we made it. Oh, yeah. That's good center of gravity. Get ready. Get set. Go! Ha! Got you. Ha! Yes! Yes! All of them! Mine! And not yours! I am better! I am superior! You are not! Oh, Steven's looking like he's ahead! Oh, Lawson's really Steven moving across the floor! Come on. Here we go. Come on. They're so neck and neck! And... You on the right! All the way across the floor, the panda's really raking him across the coals. Steven's moving for the last big one. Oh, I got the big ball. Basketball, basketball, basketball. Uh, yeah. You got the, where was that one? Steven wins. That's not fair, I didn't even see the big one. Uh, fine. Look at that. I'll spot you a point. You All can right. have that one. Man, I didn't want anyway. Win. Cause he won. That's a good one. Okay. What's next? What's up? Now it's time for Life Size Jumanji. Nope, I'm out. Hey everybody, I'm Lawson. And I'm Steven. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. Oh, look at that. A comic book falling from the sky. It's a literary miracle. Yeah, more like a out of control comic book collection. What? No, 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 no. Don't say that. They'll hear you. Who? The drawings? Okay, seriously, Lawson, can you please explain what's going on here? What? A guy can't like comics? This is not liking comics. This is preventing us from being able to do literally anything on the show today. Not true! <laughs> Look, these comics are all the same. Yeah, Frog Defenders of Saturn, issue number 106. It says 109. It's a misprint, and that's what makes it more valuable. Wait a minute, are you, are, are you telling me that all of these are Frog Defenders of Saturn, issue 109? 106. Why? Because they're mine, Stephen. They're all mine! But if they're all yours, that means nobody else can have one. Precisely! How much did all this cost you? Oh, um, a lot. And you think this is a wise investment? Oh yeah, no, my investment coach is completely on board with my fiscal choices. What? <laughs> How do you know the word fiscal and also your investment coach? Yes. Why don't you welcome someone who knows stuff? Welcome to the show, Mr. Money Man. Ah, hello there, Lawson. Greeting, Stephen. Hello, Mr. Mr. Money. Mr. Money Bags, that is correct. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that. money. <laughs> you friend. ever play Monopoly? Oh, I love having Monopolies. Oh. Okay, well, we know who you are, so why don't you tell us what you know? Oh, of course. It's all in the name, my boy. It's all in the name. <laughs> <laughs> That's my friend. You're gonna, you're gonna have to be more specific. I know money! Bags and bags of money. <laughs> With money, anything you want is yours for the taking and for the keeping. Remember that, Lawson, my boy. Exactly, right, yes, and I've been applying what you taught me to my comic book collection. Ooh. All for me, and yes, it's true, I want all the comics show Oh, well, for you. Ah, bravo! Bravo! <laughs> well, that doesn't seem very nice. <laughs> Lawson, whenever a friend asks me for a favor, do you know what I tell them? Oh, yeah, I know this one. You say... I tell them no! All right? I tell them no. You don't need friends or favors in this life. Remember that all you need is pennies, and quarters, and dollar bills raining from the sky. Those are your real friends. But you do have friends that are that are real people, though, right? Right. Oh, of course I do. Of course I do. If you consider Mr. Franklin and Mr. Hamilton. Oh, hello there, Mr. Hamilton. Oh, you're looking mighty green today. Well, thank you, Mr. Franklin. Oh, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Is this my future? <laughs> oh, 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 by the way, thank you for inventing electricity. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, and thank you for not throwing away your 
opportunity. <laughs> okay, it's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> I need more of these. Hey guys. Hey Kellen. Hey Kellen, what do you have for us today? Well, today we're looking at a parable that Jesus taught, sometimes called the parable of the rich fool. Did somebody say rich? Yeah, I did, Mr. Mr. Uh, Archibald Moneybags, son, Mr. Archibald Moneybags, but you, you may call me Mr. Moneybags. Okay, Mr. Moneybags. Clearly, you're rich, but the person in the story was also a... Oh, no, no, I'd be happy to help you tell your little story there, son. And, mark my words, you won't regret it. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, anyway, a parable, if you didn't know, is a story that has a lesson at the end. Jesus used stories sometimes to help people see what he was talking about in different ways. On this occasion... Jesus was teaching when someone said, Teacher, tell my brother to give me half the stuff that belongs to our family. Now, they must have been having an argument over something about, like, who has the most stuff. So Jesus said, Watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Then Jesus tells them a story. There once was a rich man. <laughs> Oh, I will add this to the 25 smackaroos I won in that beauty contest. One year, his land produced a very large crop. <gasps> Look at all of my crops. <laughs> Stupendous. But what should I do? I don't have anywhere to store all of these crops. And there is no way I could use all of these crops in just one season all by myself. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Light bulb! <laughs> I will take all of my barns and tear them down. Wait for it. Tear them down. But then build bigger ones. <laughs> And then I will store all of my crops in these newer, larger barns. Ooh. <laughs> you know, I have plenty of crops, and these crops are going to last me for a long time. I mean, many, many years long time. So I should probably just take life a little easy. I suppose I'll just eat mm. and drink. and have a really good time. <clears throat> but God said to him, You foolish man, tonight I will take your life away wow. from you. Well, then who will get what you have no. prepared for yourself? No! no! Oh, my cord! Ah! <laughs> now there's so many bulls! Ah! Dead. To be clear, there were no, and I repeat, no inflatable kiddie pools in Jesus' story. But the rich man did die, and he never got to enjoy all the crops he had stored away for himself. Then Jesus said, that is how it will be for whoever stores things away for themselves, but is not rich in the sight of God. The end. Wow. That was quite the ending. Yeah. Yeah. I think the point Jesus was trying to make is that we only have so much time here on earth. Do we want to spend it caring about all the stuff we have? Or do we want to spend our time caring for the people we love? Yeah. Instead of keeping all the crops to himself, the rich guy could have shared with the people around him. And I think that's what Jesus meant when he said we should be rich in the sight of God. I think you're right. And that sounds like my job is done here. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Kellen. Bye, Kellen. Steven? Yes, Lawson? I think I might be hoarding comic books. <laughs>
might be. I don't want to die like the rich fool in Jesus' story. I don't want to end up friendless and alone. I'm your friend. Not now, Steven. I have to do something. What should I do? What should I do? I don't... <gasps> Light bulb. Reveal the question. What do you have that you can share? Comic books. Yeah. I have so many. <gasps> You get a comic, you get a comic, you get a comic, you get a comic. Lawson? You get a comic. Thank you. What do you have that you could share? Could be stuff you have, or you could share your time, or your talents. It's our responsibility to share what we have, and it's one of our rules for life. Share what you have. Talk about what you have to share with each other. And we'll see you next week. I'm Steven. And I'm Lawson. And this was the So and So Show. Bow, 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 bow. Wasn't that amazing? I told you you're gonna learn about Monopoly. It's one of my ultimate favorite games to play still to this day. I've been playing with my kids. We play Junior Monopoly. Listen, I hope you guys learn the importance of sharing, of giving back, of sharing what we have. And when we can be trusted with what we have, God has no problem with giving us more. That is so important. So we have to have responsibility and take care of what God has given us. Even the toys that we have, even the clothes that we have, we gotta hang them up, put our toys away. We have to take responsibility for what we have, our video games, everything we have, clean up our rooms, uh, make our beds, uh, be neat, all those good things, all right? Because when we show that we can be trusted with the little that we have, God will give us more. Amen. All right, guys, boys and girls, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for being our friend. Thank you for showing us the way to live. Thank you for giving us so many blessings, God, for our families, for our friends, for all our um, material objects, our toys, our video games, our clothes. God, thank you for, um, for loving us, for minds, for health, um, for all the many blessings you've given us. Thank you for our church. Thank you for our pastor. God, thank you for the leadership of the Grove, God. God, we just appreciate you and we love you. You are great and amazing and a good God to us. And so, Lord, we love you. Help us to be, uh, to take care of what you've given us. And God, we promise because we know that it is a gift from you. We'll take care of it and we will appreciate you and let the world know that you've given us all the blessings. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Also, don't forget, play some Monopoly this week, all right? <laughs> see you guys.